We are at Big Apple Comic Con, and it has a nice crowd here. It's a one-day event, just Saturday. It's in the New Yorker Hotel, and uh, we're gonna go check out some of the booths, check out some of the uh, comic books, and we'll look at some slabs and some raw books, and we'll see what's going on. Uh, let's take a peek here. This is really nice. The chandeliers and everything. Hey, GDC Comics has a beautiful booth here, right? Look at all of these slabs. Yeah! You got the prices on them here, so you guys want to get an idea on what's going on with at the cons. And this is a beautiful booth. He had, he had a nice wall. I showed you the wall and everything. And I'm going to show you some slabs, and we'll go through some raw books. And we'll check out the different booths and uh, everybody at the con here. And maybe I will give you some... You guys want some epic music? When we go through the slabs, you want you want epic, right? That's the kind of channel this is. Maybe I should give you some uh, motivational uh, music here. So let's get epic. Let's get epic as we look at these slabs. At the entrance as you come in Funko Pop is everywhere it is not going away look at it rows and rows of it and we have a room here of Artist Alley a bunch of creators are in this room and then we have two rooms to the left here all comic books and then we have a room in the back of video games and a room upstairs for cosplay so this place is ginormous we have a new company here hip comic it looks like you catalog your books and they also give you the value of your books we got a local comic shop out of Greenpoint, Brooklyn here. Do it! Do it! In the main room, the main comic room here. And we have the guy running the show, right? Mike Carbonaro. And he is looking over a cosplayer. The suit might be too big. It looks like they're discussing it. Is the costume too big? Do it! Do it! This is what's happening at the show. These are the controversies here. <laughs> I'm in danger!
we are at Anthony's Comics, and they have some b beautiful original artwork here. You notice a lot of uh, Dead Man in here, and they got some Man Thing. Look at this. Original pages that you can own. Very cool, right? And there were like three or four booths here that were selling original art. So I think uh, it's becoming more accessible, right? More popular than ever. You can get original page, or you can get a cover, um, or you can get some original artwork. Pick up one of these books, go through them a little bit. Here's a dead man here, right? <gasps> and here are some sketches. Kind of nice, right? And they have all these books, man. All this original artwork for sale. Daddy, chill. And I think there is a big Lobo in the back here. I think Lobo is coming out soon, right? Into the uh, DC Universe right here. He is. This is a big uh, original artwork here, right? Is it a TV show or he's coming into a movie, I think? This is a cool dead man, right? Ah! All right, let's walk around for a little bit here. We'll check out some of the cosplay, check out some of the other booths. And this is a beautiful booth here. Oh, I love that jock cover, right? That Detective Comics. And that was a great story arc also. Was that Black Mirror? And then we have Spider-Man sneaking by. Sneaking by here. That was legitness. Kryptonite Comics, a booth that we have seen many times at these shows. And we're going to go through some raw books here. They have it priced on the top right corner there. You see the corner there, they have the price. This is a mixed price comic box. And these are all early Amer Amazing Spider-Mans, right? And like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring that little bell. It'll notify you when I uh, upload new videos. And these are all early uh, ASMs, right? Maybe what, uh, on one to one to a hundred here? Are you serious? Was that the first Kingpin? Is this the first Mary Jane? Are you serious? All right, cool. And if you try to fill some gaps here, right? They have uh, all the early ASMs here. This is like the second or third Vulture, right? And these are uh, various grades. I would say these are probably mid-grade books here. Right? It's nice to see them all, right? All the early issues. And if you're trying to fill some gaps. And maybe we'll look at some other uh, raw books here. I think these are double boarded. The boarding seems really good. Maybe a thick board or these are double boarded. And we got a nice crowd here. It's very crowded here today. I didn't know it was going to be... Uh, instead of two days, it was only one day. So it's just Saturday. And they are having another event next year in March. Are you serious? The uh, Big Apple Comic Con. And I'll give you some of the ambiance of the show. Right, you can hear the crowd here, it's very noisy. A lot of people here. And this hotel is enormous, man. It can fill the capacity here. It's got to be uh, so many people. And they look like they're in great shape, right? I guess you gotta really look them over, though, right? You gotta pull them out and really look them over. It's cool to see this whole run, though, right? All the early uh, books. Shut up! Daddy, chill. Oh, the Gibbon. Is this the first Gibbon? Major villain, major character. The Gibbon. Right? He's underrated. Daddy, chill.
this hero's booth is always enormous. Always impressive, right? All of these long boxes surrounding the whole booth here. And it's like three or four booths, the size of it. And we're going to go through some uh, raw books here. And this is a $10 box. So every book in here is 10 bucks. And if you buy five or more, they become nine bucks. Kind of a cool idea, right? This whole box here. $10 books, right? You want that uh, mid-range? This is my speed here. More of the uh, mid-pricing. Ah, some cool books in here too, right? Daniel Boone, here we go. Little Dell, Zaro. Great book. That look awesome shape, right? Uh, it's the classics, right? The action comics. Right? This is like a nice little uh, long box. Shut up! And they have a huge crowd around here. We got the shadow, and the artist for the shadow is here, right? The uh, artist for the shadow is uh, in the uh, artist alley, I think. Cy Barry is here. I'm pretty sure I walked by his booth. Uh, Cy Barry, the artist of the Phantom. And um, artist alley, and uh, I was going to go in there, but uh, it was very crowded in there. So uh, I did a walkthrough. Um... And here, oh, here's some Hulk books. And here is um, Hulk 300. I have this book. It's a great book. This is like the source material for uh, Planet Hulk. Planet Hulk kind of copied that idea to get rid of the Hulk and to uh, shoot him out to space. All right, let's walk around and see what else they got here at the con. Here's a cool section of books here, right? You don't see a lot of these uh, Dark Horse uh, Star Wars books around. And a ton of them in here. They got like the whole run of all the uh, series there. And uh, these things are so popular, right? Like in the uh, the 90s and the aughts. But uh, I think uh, they decided to not make them canon, right? No! So, uh, but a lot of these stories were some of the best stories, right? And now they're going, uh, Marvel is uh, doing the canon books uh, re currently with the High Republic and the uh, new Star Wars reboots. Look at these. These are great covers and everything, right? These Dark Horse comics. Dark Times. There was a Vader a run in here too, right? Rebellion. Got a ton of them in here. I don't see these, uh, I don't see so many of these around in, in uh, great condition, those Dark Horse. Just a ton of bins here to go through. I wasn't sure what you guys wanted to see. Let me know in the comments below the next con I go through. What do you guys want to look at? Do you like the slabs? Do you like the raw books? Daddy, chill. Do you like the wall books? I tried to show you some wall books. Do it. And I uh, like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring that little bell and notify you when I upload new videos. And I put some of the, uh, I turn the volume up so you can get a feel of the uh, Big Apple Comic Con. Right? Get a feel that you are here. Oh, I like the Star Wars book. This is in great shape, though. Should I grab that? Do it. 2001. And the next Big Apple Comic Con event is in March 23. 2023, it'd be March 25th and 26th, a two-day event. Two-day event coming up. Look at the size of that book. Do you have a coffee table big enough 
to fit that book on. Wow. And this hero's booth is impressive, right? All right, I wasn't gonna make it today, uh, I but I happened to be in the area, so I stopped by, I had my camera. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Check out my other videos on my homepage. And if I walked by your booth, let me know below. I'll give you a shout out, all right? All right, guys, so I'll see you in my next video.